My name is Dr. Nuruddin Yakini Hagbaje, Special Advisor to Governor on Rural Development. The, that's one of the purposes we have in this election. The purpose of this election is for us to advise the advisory board on what they can do individually in their respective communities so that they can be of help to the state at large. And the, the, the ministry hasn't stopped by engaging them in training. We do give them training so that we tell them this are what to do and this are what not to do. And they tell us the needs of their community. And we now swing in to assist them in what to do. And we have been doing this time from time to time. Since I've even assumed office, we've been doing this. And I could see the office has been doing that since because I've been to several projects being inspected and being done by the Department of Rural Development. But maybe because of lack of publication, that's why it has not been known. But a lot of projects have been done by the Community Development Association. The governor has been clamoring on Team Plus agenda in which all the community has to be a benefactor to it. And we are trying to make most of this rural area to submit urban area. Whereby we, are, whereby we engage ourselves in the distribution of electrification, rural water for all, no open defecation, by way of building toilets. We are building halls for the community, such as the one we built in Badagri of recently. Road being constructed along um, uh, okay, Ogbe in, in, in Badagri. And that of Agbaje Feye in Ikurudu was being constructed just of recently. Was, it, was being constructed by rural development. So we are doing all this to engage it. It is when they come to us and tell us their respective problems in their respective communities, we swing in into action immediately to troubleshoot the problem at hand and we keep on engaging them from time to time and tell the advisory board on what to tell their communities and to work in collaboration with the community leaders. The new advisory committee, we have said that to them not to see themselves as an umpire that will work against government plan. They should see themselves as a family because the government, the government of Baba Jizeh Ulusola Songolu has taken them as a family because he attends to all the society, societal problems. So, so therefore, we advise them to tell us if they see anything wrong in their, in their society, they should turn and revert back to us. Then we inform the governor the ones we cannot do within our reach. And I'm very sure Mr. Governor is willingly and ready to attend to it at all, at all times. You would agree with me that um, there are various competing needs of the people of Lagos State, but in terms of provision of um, electrification for these communities, I think we have done very well. We have also done very well in the area of rural agriculture. We also help them to do a lot of rural roads to stem urban migration when the roads are good, are good, people from the rural areas are able to move goods from those areas to the city, and so it enhances commerce. Uh, in terms of rural electrification, when there is light in those communities, it also improves development. So the uh, ministry also has a mandate to do all those things, and we have done quite a number of rural roads. We have also engaged in rural electrification. Beyond that, we have built community halls for um, various communities in the state. And we also provide grants to these um, community development associations to support them in their self-help uh, projects. And uh, part of what we do on an annual basis is to also help them celebrate the Community Day celebration. Uh, very soon, we are going to have that. And uh, over the years, the government has celebrated these communities by um, setting a, a day aside to, to celebrate the community day where there is a lot of pomp and pageantry. Um, and the highlight of that occasion is that uh, we give four buses to outstanding communities, outstanding CDAs in the state uh, to support them and to also encourage them to do better. My name is Prince Adenio Ogubawo, the CDC chairman for Ecuador North. 
Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, we are here at the election, which is ongoing. Yes. Uh, but we just want to go to um, the presentation of award of excellence that was given to you yes. by the SA to go to the developers. What do you have? What's your reaction on that? I, I, I want to say thank you to the Lagos State Governor and to the SA and the Ministry for the many fit to reward our loyalties and our commitment to our various uh, SCD and to the state in particular. It has really ginger us to do more as a community leaders. Looking at um, a new administration in terms of the um, yes. advisory council, yes. um, if you want to summarize the effect of um, this advisory council to foster community groups, what will you, how will you summarize It's an umbrella name? body for all the CDC. Why the CDA are under the CDC? Okay. It's for us to disseminate information from the top down to the bottom so that everybody will know what is going on in the state. It's also for us to complement the effort of the state government where there are challenges we bring it to the attention of state government because our elected representatives are not everywhere. It is for us to inform them this is what is going on here and there. That's what we do. Okay, so are you part of the new Yes, I'm the unopposed second vice chairman. So yes. what will be your message in this very new my, my message is uh, I'm an IT person. I want to work with the chairman to deploy IT for the greater development of CDAC. My name is Alaji Amzata Ziz, the newly elected chairman Lagos State Community Development Advisory Council. Okay, um, we just uh, witnessed um, the election of the US to be the chairman. Uh, what is your reaction towards how the election and inauguration? Well, my major reaction is to give thanks to God and to thank my people who has displayed total loyalty and support for my re-election. I appreciate them for appreciating what I was doing before this dissolution. Okay, before the people uh, speak, both the SA and the PS, that uh, if there was any rift that was occurring within the unit that you apologize for it moving forward. So what, um, can you give shed more light on the emphasis of social impact on the new uh, executive going forward? I want you to know this uh, Yoruba uh, saying that there's no way you can be totally perfect. In one way or the other, we, we will have uh, done some things wrongly as human beings. For that, I felt we have to, we have to uh, apologize and tell them and, uh, that we are fully loyal to the government and to the ministry. And that's what I have done. By the grace of God, we have to support our governor and government policies and programs. And in doing this, our people has to be up and doing. Our communities has to be up and doing. We have to show more committed to the uh, governor's team's agenda plus which is the basis of, his, of this administration, the, the foundation and the body of the administration, which our governor is committed to, and we have to support him. Your name once again, sir. Alaji Amzat Aziz is my name.